Hello guys, Mac and Magic back with another Unity 3D tutorial. I'm s really sorry it, I didn't upload uh, last week, but I was really busy doing stuff for school, so I really didn't have time. But today I'm back with another Unity 3D tutorial, and as you requested, I tried to copy uh, Amnesia uh, drag door script, so uh, system that uh, we'll be using to open doors. But I didn't quite make the same system. It's similar, but it's not the same. So I'll be showing you in a second how it looks like. So this is the scene. I'm going to show you how it looks like. Uh, so basically, uh, we'll be using rigid body and hinge joints. So if I just hit the door, nothing really happens. But if I press my uh, left mouse button and W, I can open the door. Uh, I can add force to it. As you can see, but uh, yeah, it's a bit glitchy sometimes. Uh, it works fine though, but it only works if the ray is pointed to the door. So we'll be using raycast, as you may know. Okay, so let me just clear the scene because we'll be redoing this. I'm gonna remove the component, our main script. And I'll be deleting the cube or the door. I'll be I'll be just uh, setting it to an active because I will be using another one. Uh, okay. So if you don't know how to create any of this stuff, like this bar over here or the flashlight, you can check uh, the past uh, horror tutorials that I made for Unity. And uh, yes, this is pretty much it. It's all there. If you want to know how to create this environment, this kind of black white looking effect, I can show you if you want to. Flashlights are also in my playlist of the horror tutorials. So let's just get into the today's tutorial. What we'll be creating first is game object, 3D object, cube. This will be basically our door. So uh, yeah, it will be a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, we'll be using a simple cube for the door. I'm sorry if you don't like that, if you want to a bit more complex objects, but today we'll be using just this little cube. So we'll be resizing it and if you don't have the door frame, I mean you don't need a door frame, you can just use this, you can model it. I modeled this entire building in SketchUp in like a minute or so. And we'll be using this resizing tool over here. It's quite useful for this kind of for this uh, let's say situations this kind of situation and I'll be adding this wood material to it or you can I don't know I have all right here it is you, you don't need to add material, I just added it to look a bit better for the cube, <laughs> a bit more like door. Now what we'll be adding now is hinge joint, so hinge joint and what hinge joint does, it adds a point in which we'll be able to lock our object and when we'll apply force to it, it will only move uh, to a certain it will only move around a certain point. So that's a pretty useful thing. And we'll be checking here where it is our hinge joint. I don't really know where it goes, where it went. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we'll be opening our door from uh, on our left side, so the hinge joint has to be on our the left side, so let's just went it here. I think it's 0 0.5. We'll set this to 0 0.5. I think that's for all the objects, so just hit 0 0.5 and uh, 0 on the y axis. Also, we'll be changing x to 0. Because we don't need it to be to 1. And we'll change that to 1. Uh, 
Okay. This is the axis. So it has to be pointed upwards, you know. The arrow should be pointing. If you see it, it's that little orange thing over here. So just set this to zero and y to one. Y to one and z to zero. Okay, so that should work now. Uh, we should have a simple working door and if we hit it, it should open, but it, as you can see, is not smooth. We need a script to make it smoother and uh, to to open the doors while we want to, because you know uh, horror games are based on a fast-paced action, and that's what we need. We need to open the doors real quickly. So, what you're gonna do here is we're gonna add a script to our not our first-person controller to our camera. So to camera that is child that is a child of our first person controller object so add a component and uh, basically I have the script over here so I'm just gonna type it open door so where is it? open door here it is and I'll be quickly explain the script just real quick open the door double click it if you don't want me to talk just skip this part I think it will take me a minute or less so we'll start in the function start uh, we'll declare a, va uh, a variable that basically is declared over here but it's a public variable rb that is rigid body and it will get from that uh, variable the rb will get uh, a component a rigid body a rigid body component from our object door which is over here so then in the function update we'll declare a variable app up so this is variable up and we'll use it in a follow in in uh, following lines. Uh, so let me just uh, tell you what it's all about. Uh, so uh, basically, this is just uh, we'll be shortening things in our uh, other lines. So uh, let me just uh, tell you. So variable hit is right cast hit. This is, we'll be declaring the type of a hit. So uh, we'll be declaring that we'll be using right cast hit, which is a very useful thing you know and uh, in this line we'll just uh, debug the draw ray transfer the position the uh, comma up times distance this uh, comma color red it means it will be drawing a ray uh, we don't need that line but we we'll need it to see the ray where it's going so uh, transfer the position means that it will be on the same spot as our camera and comma up it means that it will have uh, it will be it will took this uh, instructions of a uh, variable up so it will be uh, it will be directed to uh, it will be directed forward from us and times distance it means uh, how long it will be so distance equals 5 over here and it's float and call the thread will be declaring the color of it. So if this uh, ray cast, uh, if this ray, ray uh, that hits an object that it's tagged door, and if you press W and at the same press left mouse button, uh, RB will be adding force to our door object that will be uh, pointed forward, and it will here it will be time it will be multiplied by power so power is over here in this float okay so we can close it up right now okay so it took me almost two minutes I guess uh, so distance you can change that I'll be uh, leaving it to five so this distance only means uh, from how far we'll be able to apply force and power I'll be at, uh, 21 worked perfectly so RB is a rigid body which is our door over here so it's cube 2 and door is actually cube 2 again so uh, but now we have to tag it do uh, tag our cube 2 a door uh, to a door because you know in, you know that we in a script used tag door so ta untagged add a tag and uh, plus and you can uh, type in door over here and then go back to cube 2 but I 
already have tag door, so just door. Now it should work. Uh, what is different is that we can press our left mouse button now, and we can ch uh, we can open the door before we uh, we collide with the door. So that's pretty useful, I guess. And I hope you like the tutorial. If you want to know anything about this uh, scene or how to make any of this special effect, just let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, share, and have a nice time. Bye.